So I'll definitely make sure I do some exercise. I will definitely make sure I get out of the house. Definitely make sure I eat three meals a day. For me, one of the important things is just getting up in time to have like good breakfast, get changed, brush your teeth, mm. just make sure you're like ready for the day. Then break and lunch time, just, just try and get moving a bit. At the end of the school day, I like to join my family on the dog walk, but sometimes they've already gone. So then if that <laughs> happens- I'll wait for you. <laughs> Now, well, to be fair, like in the first lockdown, it was all right, but now because it gets dark earlier, it's a bit yeah, different. Yeah, right, fair enough. But, um, so if they've, they've gone off, I'll try and do like some exercise at that point. Um, and then if I haven't gotten out of the house, I'll just, I'll go after dinner, just have a walk after dinner, get yeah. out of the house, see what it's like at night. Just yeah, no, I, I'll do that. Just yeah, so I quite like it. Ground pretty aimlessly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. I do a lot of music, so I, I, I'm, I'm always sort of playing guitar, playing piano. Yeah, in that sense, I like to read a lot, so I guess that's that's my equivalent kind of. And then also just like deleting apps. If I think I'm spending too much time on them, I'll delete games or just yeah. set limits on my head, like only play a certain number of games or whatever mm. for a day. So it just keeps, keeps a barrier on it, doesn't let it get out of control. There's a rugby challenge that Mr. Thompson has set up this uh, for this this lockdown. And you actually have to prove you've done stuff by filming filming yourself. You can't just pass it off as yeah, I've I've run 5k. But also, I've set up a or I'm wanting to set up a challenge for my first year mental class. There have been a few from like the football and the PE departments I've taken part in. I, w I thought I was going to learn some TikTok dances, but I never actually got around to it in the end, which is probably a good thing looking back now. I think for me there are probably two things. One is I'm not normally very good at staying in touch with my friends and I think that's definitely something you've kind of got to put a bit of effort into during lockdown because at some point you're going to want to have a laugh, just have a muck about or whatever. Like you've kind of got to acknowledge that some days you're not going to be having a good day, you're going to be a bit stressed or whatever. So on those days you've got to often power through as much as you can but equally accept you might need a bit of a break, a bit more of a rest than usual so you've got to be a bit a bit lenient with yourself sometimes. My, my first, my first one's probably my the big, the biggest thing I've sort of taken away from it, and that's staying in touch as much as you can with your teachers, or your, or your your form tutors and your subject teachers. Just letting them know how you're getting on with work. If it's too much, if if you if you're struggling or anything, because obviously you can't go and see them. Um, just treat it as if you were in the school and you sort of say pass them in the corridors or go see them at a break time for even for a couple of minutes. Um, just make sure you're constantly staying in touch with them um, and you won't feel as if you're on your own as much.